Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Julie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be another plan with me in my plum paper vertical priorities. Let's take a look at this past week. I did choose to use a few more stickers than even the week before. I do like the way that this turned out um, and I think I'm going to pretty much be leaning more towards this style. I, I don't mind using the stickers in here, but um, I, I just feel like the more minimal I am in here, I, I don't know. I just like it, we'll see how it goes. I honestly had pulled out a whole different kit and everything and then when I actually sat down and was like trying to figure out what was going on for the week, I was like, this is not working. So maybe we'll just pull out some highlighters and a pen and see how it goes. So I think that I've picked a few colors. I'm really loving using the Mild Liner brush tip markers in here. Obviously you can use just the regular um, ones that have like the chisel tip on there, but I don't know what it is. I just gravitate towards using these. I also went ahead and grabbed the Tombow Mono Drawing Pen in the 03. My friend Katie over at Katie Gay Plans has been talking about this pen nonstop and how well it works in the plum paper, so I really wanted to go ahead and try it. Um, and it works really well with mild liners as she was showing in one of her stories, which I thought was really, really cool. That's what we are doing today. And honestly, I'm shocked that I'm even filming this today because it is pretty late in the afternoon on Sunday. And when I woke up this morning, I had a migraine from hell. I can honestly say it is like what three o'clock right now. I didn't start feeling well until about an hour ago and even then I was like maybe I should just not film and I don't know what it is. I'm like I'm just gonna do it. It's like a habit that you can't you just don't want to let go of right? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do with these colors is use them as basically headers I think. We shall see how this turns out. But um, I think I'm gonna start with like yellow on top. I was sitting here trying to figure out the order and I was like, I don't even know if this is that big of a deal. I don't even think I'm gonna use this one. Let's put that aside. But I think we'll stick with these three and I'm just gonna start with, uh, you know, highlighting across each one. I have really enjoyed using just more just more highlighter and marker in here like less overthinking of like just all the things and it just being a little bit easier in here also because honestly a lot of stickers are not meant for this planner then it doesn't exactly work the same not that it can't work but you know all right next one we will use this i don't think this one has the colors on it but it's more or less like the orangey color there's another one in the mod liners that is the red color you can kind of see the difference there but i kind of prefer the more orange um color in the plum paper there is kind of this line that breaks up these spaces if that's how you want to break it up you don't necessarily have to do it that way but it definitely makes it easier on the eye to figure out where you're going to put things um, in your planner so that's nice and this is like honestly one of my favorite color blues from mild liners i can't remember the color of this one either i love this one now this isn't going to be a completely sticker free spread i would um I'm probably still going to use the weather stickers, the dinner stickers, and maybe some like computer and filming ones for the week. So for the top part, I'm gonna kind of do what I did last week, but I'm gonna just label it today and it's going to have the weather and any like big event. So like if it's payday or there's no school or there's a day off kind of thing. So those are the things that will be included in that section. And then for the next section, let me write this down before I forget what I just told you guys. And honestly, it is a heck of a lot easier just to just write on top of my liner if you're just not sure how your pen is going to react. Um, the next section is going to be my top three. And then this third section will be just four tasks for each day. So I'm gonna go ahead and label the rest of the week. I'm only going to put the today header on Saturday and Sunday since the space is a little bit more limited. All right, so for my, let's actually focus on 
do we want to do the weather first? Now that I've switched up the order of things, I'm like, well, maybe we should do from top to bottom instead of from left to right. So let me pull up my weather app. Let's see what kind of roller coaster of a ride we're going to be on for the weather this week because this past week was just something else. All right, it looks like we're not gonna have like a torrential downpour every single day. Not that it was necessarily like that. It's like the first couple of days of the week were great. And then this past weekend, it just was cloudy and rainy on and off all weekend. So a little bit hard to get outside and get stuff done. So this weekend seems like, or this coming week actually seems like it's going to be more sun, a little bit more consistency with the weather. All right, I am not mad at that weather at all. All right, so as far as like events go for the week, I think right now the only thing is payday on Thursday, which is awesome. And I do wanna grab my payday sticker from Planner Kate. All right, grabbed that. That is on Thursday and that's about as straight as it's gonna get. All right, I think that that's the only thing. <laughs> major we've got going on actually Nathan actually has a dentist appointment on Thursday but we're actually gonna have to move that so I don't even have to worry about putting that down that actually needs to get moved to sometime in May because we've always had like my our dental insurance through my job and since I switched jobs my new benefits won't carry over until after the first of May so last thing we need is a huge dental bill when it could have waited like two weeks so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do there all right, so for my top three habits, I am going to put uh, my daily delete for you know deleting my photos on my phone every day, or at least the ones that I don't need, uh, listening to a podcast, which lately has been a combination of podcast slash YouTube <laughs> video because I feel like I have fallen behind on watching the channels that I love, and then my photo of the day, which means keeping a photo of the day that I could possibly use in a memory keeping spread or whatever it is that I wanna do with it later on. That is all done. I, I love how simple this is looking. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I do wanna mark certain things like YouTube and all of that. And I think what I'm gonna do is make a bottom section. I also saw this over on um, Katie's Instagram where she has like a social uh, media section. And I'm really thinking that that might be a good spot to at least put that from Monday through Friday because honestly, I do obviously focus on that daily, some days more than others, like on editing nights. But now I'm like thinking this through. I also want to put where my videos go up each day and not necessarily the task of it or make a, cre a whole section. I think I'm just gonna hold off on making the section. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is just still put like the dot for, and I'm using one of the zig color clean color dot markers and that's where i'm just going to mark my um videos for the day um and so obviously monday is this plan with me and then wednesday is actually a uh, launch video so i'm going to leave that blank for right now and then friday what was i going to do on friday now i need to look back at my content planner, which is kind of all over the place as well. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be one of those people. If you if you're new to my channel, I'm not one of those people that's going to pretend like I have all of my crap together because I definitely do not, which is why I plan Friday. I believe was going to be another review video. That is correct. I am so behind on reviews. I have been buying an insane amount of things um, that I would like to review. And I've also had some things sent to me. So I really need to make those a priority on my schedule. One of them I'm super excited about because it is a meal planner and I'm just, 
I'm super pumped about it and I've really been needing to get on like my meal planning game. I don't know if you guys use a specific meal planner. I would love to hear what it is that you guys are using or, or what method you're using because I just feel like I do not have my crap together in that department either. So. <laughs> Just add that to the list of things. Tuesday, I actually need to, actually on Monday, I will film, and I'll probably have to do that Monday during lunch, <laughs> but I'm going to need to film the launch video. And I think that's gonna be the big task for the day, but we'll see. There could be some other things that I'll need to add in there, but I definitely need to work on that just in case I need to also, uh, get some b-roll and things like that i still have tuesday as a buffer and tuesday will be my editing day so that the video can go up on wednesday that is the plan for now anyway so um i'm gonna actually put the editing further down here just so that i can leave myself room for any other um tasks that i have going on for the day i'm also going to put a reminder here that i need to call my mom don't yell at me, you guys. I have so been slacking on that. And then I'll like randomly call her like during the week, during my lunch, and <laughs> she's still working, of course. But um, sometimes she'll worry because I call her in the middle of the day instead of at night. So I've got to remember to not <laughs> to not do that and, and not uh, freak her out, so. All right, so that is it for Wednesday. I typically, like these are just, big tasks so if you're new to watching my channel and you're like really this is all that you have to do no this is not all that i have to do i also <laughs> use a daily planner and that's where like more of the details of the day like all of the little i don't want to say mundane things but there's definitely more details to all of these things so as far as like daily things for content you'll see in my daily planner that i have you know either sharing a video that i've uploaded um working on emails working on graphics things like that that just wouldn't necessarily all fit in this space and i love a daily for that purpose so there's all that all right, so on Wednesday, nope, Thursday. See, I have been using Moxie Life for so long. I'm like, this is Thursday. Nope, this is Wednesday. Let's go over here. So on Thursday, I definitely need to get the trash out. Well, I don't, one of the kids will. That That's for sure, that is not my task. But it is something that we actually have to make sure that goes out. Ooh, another reminder. Let's go back to Monday. I just remembered this. We need to make sure, and this is the thing that we keep forgetting, I need to set a reminder on my phone, but on Tuesday mornings, they come and pick up like the paper lawn bags that have like grass clippings and all of that stuff. That's done on Tuesday morning. It's so weird. It's very hard to remember. We forget all the time and the bags are left sitting <laughs> on the side of our house, but you have to actually bring them to the curb and they will come and pick them up. So I really have to remember that. Um, I just put lawn bags to the curb. I don't know, but that needs to happen. Like, do not forget all the exclamation points. But back to Thursday, trash definitely needs to go out. Speaking of trash, we have been working on some massive decluttering, like just some spaces that have kind of been neglected in our house. And I've talked about this before, but we're a military family and my husband has since retired over the last few years and um, we don't move anymore. So we don't have that constant need or being forced into decluttering because we're about to move and we're starting to notice it in little areas of our house. So like just this past weekend, I finally got to our hall closet. I would really like to reshelve that whole closet, but this was not the weekend for it. Now that it's been completely decluttered, I can get a better idea of what shelving we need in that space. But man, it was, it was, it was bad. <laughs> so we're actually, we actually have a space in our garage now that is completely set up to have like a bulk trash, like one of those, those junk people that come in with the big container. I don't even know what it's called, but anyway, we actually have what's called bulk trash once a year here. They have since moved it all the way to October. It was supposed to be in the month of April. So that kind of like threw our plan way out of sorts, but now our garage is like full of stuff that we need to get rid of. So we're just going to have to schedule our own and kind of pay out of pocket. And it's going to be worth it because we are, it's honestly forcing us to go ahead and get these things done now rather than, than wait. Um, and it's just been, awesome to just clean up these little spaces. I feel like slowly it's relieving a lot of stress. I'm sure that you guys can relate to that. All right, so on Friday, actually let's go back to Thursday. I will need to edit 
the review video. And then of course on Friday night is going to be our family movie night, which we have just been watching. Oh my God, what is it? It's the new Marvel series that's out. Why? I'm just drawing a blank. It's the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I don't know why that was so hard for me to remember. Also on Friday night, another task that I want to get done is ordering our groceries or at least working on our grocery list. I haven't minded so much going in person into the store lately, but I'm not going to lie. Things are getting like super crowded and I don't like it. <laughs> So I think I might go back to just doing the grocery pickup thing. And hopefully I can actually get that done and either set up a grocery pickup for Saturday or Sunday or just go pick it up myself on Saturday or Sunday. Not really a big deal. All right, don't have a lot planned that far out for the weekend, so I'm not going to do that. But I do want to work on my habits up here, and I think I'm just going to use the gray up there just to title it habits even though it's pretty obvious that that is a, a habit tracker right <laughs> but still I'd, I'd like to write habits on there and so far I am liking this marker I actually really like it over the mild liner on the paper I wish that it was a little bit more pigmented if that makes sense like the paper mate flare I feel like there's nothing that can compare to the paper mate flare but there also is no comparing the Tombow mono to the paper mate flare if that makes sense I used to use this pen a lot when I was using the Hobonichi weeks because that paper is also super freaking sensitive and this seemed to be the only pen that I could deal with in there Anyway, all right, let's get some habits down. My habits are going to be my medication, my vitamins, working out each day, which honestly has been going so, so well. Closing my rings. I have closed my rings every single day this month so far, and I, I just, I want to keep going with it. I'm absolutely loving it. And trying to make sure that I get in 8,000 steps per day. I know 10,000 is ideal, but I do work from home, so... 10,000 isn't exactly realistic when you work from home if you really think about it. Unless you're pacing around your house all day, it's probably not going to happen. So, let's just let's just be honest with ourselves. All right, and then for the bottom part, I'm going to kind of do what I did a couple of weeks ago, which is just use a small dinner sticker from Planner Kate and write what we'll have for dinner each day. I don't exactly have that planned. Sometimes what I will do is just write it in after the fact, um, just because we change our minds so much. Like, we will have the meals throughout the week, but... They may not necessarily stay in the order that I write them in my planner, if that makes sense. So that's why I don't always write them in, <laughs> to be quite honest, just because that's just that's just how we are, you know? Um, I'd love to be one of those people that says, no, we absolutely have to have this because that's what the meal plan says, but uh, that's just not how we roll here not how we roll. I mean, there's some things that we typically keep absolutely the same, like our takeout night is pretty much always Friday night, and Fend for Yourself is always on Thursday night, but like this past weekend, there was a whole lot of like Fend for Yourself. Like, I was just not, <laughs> it was not happening. So, there's that. But, this way I can actually see what happened after the fact and what we've been eating or liking or, or you know, whatever's going on in our, our season of life. Wednesday looks really, really empty there. I know that I'm forgetting something, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Also, is April 15th tax day? I don't think it is, right? I think they moved it to May 15th. I'm not entirely sure. I should probably definitely check on that. Oh my goodness. All right. I still need to think of something to put in these two boxes. I would love to know if you guys have any ideas or suggestions or maybe you've used this planner and you have ideas for what you could use in here. I know a lot of people just put a quote up here. I've also seen some people actually put some lists up here. I'm still kind of like all over the place. I have put stickers, I've written quotes. This is actually a sticker from Happy Planner. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what it is that I actually want to put up here. So I just don't know yet. So my indecisiveness is going to leave it blank. <laughs> 
that's what we're gonna do all right guys that is it for this plan with me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today and i will see you guys in my next video bye everyone